hello everyone welcome to this video in this video I'm gonna show you how to bond tie join two parts in Abacus CAE this is based on a question which I have received recently so I created a very simple example here I have two blocks as you see on the screen I will bond them together using Abacus software and then I will do a unique zil tension type simulation Okay, all the boundary conditions, all the material properties, all the dimensions are arbitrary. The whole purpose of this video is to demonstrate how you can bond or tie or join two parts together in Abacus so that they are there. Again, when I say join, we are not join, modeling any joint related to welds or, or high temperature bonding because in those cases you will have residual stresses and that will be out of scope for this work. So it's just a simple tie. Or bonding constraint where you just bond two components together okay how to bond tie join two parts together so let's start by creating a part in this case I'm going to create a 3d deformable cuboid using extrusion I am not changing the name I'm keeping it as part one I will create a rectangle here Again, all the dimensions, all the values are arbitrary. The, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to tie two parts together. Now I will give kind of a depth and I have this kind of cube. I don't need to create another part. I will use the same part in the assembly module by instancing it twice and then I will join bond them together. For material properties, since I'm gonna do static analysis, so I might not need to define the density so I will just go with the elastic constants. Again, I'm keeping everything elastic for simplicity. And I'm giving the properties of steel in this case. Then I will create a solid section as I have done before. I hope by this time you will be familiar with Abacus terminologies. And then I will assign the section to the part so that Abacus knows that each, what each component is made up of so we have told Abacus that this part one is made up of material one which has steel type properties now I will instance the part in assembly and I will do it twice as you will see here because I need two parts so that I can bond them together and you can see I have brought the same part again and I need to bond these two surfaces as you see on the screen so before bringing it together you can see I, the easiest way for me is i will first create the surfaces which i want to bond so i will create the surface one and i will select the surface one which has to be bonded and then i will create another surface and that is basically the, the other surface associated with the other component and that will be part of the bond you can you don't need to create this if the surfaces are visible but since I will be bringing these two parts together, so it will be difficult for me to select the surfaces and they will be one on each other. So that's why I said I was created the parts, surfaces, and now I am bringing the parts together so that both surfaces match with each other. So I'm just translating one object towards the other by using the translate option on the screen. And you can see now perfect they are perfectly aligned with each other but they are still not bonded because we haven't defined any bonding constraint constraints now i go to static general step and i will create a static general step in which i will because i want to do a static analysis in this case i will come back to the boundary conditions mm -hmm. later on again the same default stuff i'm giving the initial increment size to be 0.1 and the maximum to be 0.1 so that i have a regular output after every 0.1 seconds at least and for interaction now I have to define the bond con constraints so for this I can use I have different options in this case I'm going to use the tie constraint and the tie is more like a tie the surfaces will be tied together see it's asking for the master surface generally Abacus recommends to use the master surface as the stiffer surface but in this case I'm using the same properties for both so I have selected surface one now I go to the surface 2 which is a slave surface and I will select surface 2. So if you see I had the surfaces so it was easier for me to select those rather than selecting from the geometry on the screen because they are bonded together. I am using everything as default and the distance should be computed as default. Again I am not asking I am asking it to 
adjust the initial nodes but you, as you can see here everything is very much parallel but you might have complicated surfaces which might not be contacting regularly with each other so in that case you can select these tolerances there like how to adjust the surface initial positions and if you want to constrain the rotational degrees of freedom or not so now i have told abacus that okay this has these surfaces have been bonded or tied together rest is all the same now i will apply some boundary conditions i'm going to fix the geometry which is comprising of two components which are bonded together and i will fix from one end and again these are arbitrary boundary conditions these, these have nothing to do with any real case so i'm just assuming it just to show that these parts are bonded so i will select this surface and i will apply, i will fix it in all three direction most probably yes and now i will go to the other side and i will apply a displacement boundary condition to make to apply a kind of a tensile loading on my structure if i don't have if I, if I haven't defined that bonding or tie constraint and if i apply this boundary condition that is u u1 with a value of 10 then you will see there will be a rigid body motion and this and the one of the block will move without having any association with the other component or part which is fixed on the other side but in this case since it's bonded so it will act as a one part now it's time for mesh so for meshing again if you remember we have to go to the you have to select the part first as you can see when you start doing meshing directly for the assembly it will not work so you have to do meshing part by part so i will select part and then i will assign the seeds this looks coarse so maybe reduce the size global size again for meshing i have another video so you can have a look at that which is displayed on the top and you see this is more i think it's a decent mesh so now if i go to assembly since the, the, the part was the same so meshing is very much the same for both components in this case now i go to the job and i will create a job let's say bond uh, not the james one and then i will just go and submit the job I can also monitor but I will just wait wait for it to finish well, let's let's so you can see my job is now finished so I will just go to the monitor and you can see if there are any errors or warning so you see all everything this seems okay there was no mesh uh, convergence issues for the iterations because it was a really, really linear problem with only tie constraints and if i now look at the deformed shape so you can see the, the whole geometry is deforming so abacus has really bonded the structure or two components together you can create some nice animations again i have a video on that so have a look at that if you want You can also create xy graphs for any stress any element in this model and for that also i have a video which is shown on the top here 